The selection panel had now interviewed 20 out of the 44 people shortlisted for positions on the Interim Independent Electoral Boundaries Commission, IEBC. Principal Mosa Wesonga was put to task on his knowledge on electoral reforms. The Kegler Commission. Do you know any two recommendations from that commission? Even, even from this paper cuttings, even from, your, from the TV. Any two recommendations from that commission? Yeah, the, the recommendation? Yes. I do have one of them. is a establishment of an independent body. to <coughs> see the electoral system in the country. Lawyer Mohammed Alawi was hard put to explain how he would help in the event of a presidential runoff, bearing in mind his expertise in maritime matters. You see, if you look at the runoff as a, a separate entity, you are putting it in a silo and not looking at it as part of the general election, then you can actually foresee those problems. But if you have it at the back of your mind from the time you're starting the general election, that this possibility, that this scenario can unfold, then uh, it, it is incumbent upon us to prepare adequately well for it. Michael Mutuaki Swili had to explain his zeal to work in the IEBC at the age of 60. I do it giving to the people of this country. And if you look at my track record, I've always served the public in various capacities, even in communities, even in schools, or in public bodies. And I've come in in a very good use. At uh, not even 60, you are not uh, too old. In fact, you retire and then it's already at 65 these days. <laughs> Still strong. Con Omori, an employee at a foreign Kenyan embassy, had to explain his ties with his resident state and its possible influence on his role as the IEBC commissioner, if appointed. I can say if I'm lucky enough to cross over, I leave that where it was. I've, I've, I've built my skills, I've, I've built a network, and I'm coming to the IEBC fully as a Kenyan to serve the public, and, and, and probably the only advantage I will bring is that network. Also interviewed was Daniel Cherryot Kirui, Shem Uluchiri, KTN Prime.